The BMW 003 was the world's second successful turbojet engine and powered the Heinkel 162 Salamander jet fighter. Although work had begun before its contemporary, the Junkers UMO 004, the 003 went into production later due to development problems. They were the only German turbojet engines to reach production during World War II. The practicality of jet propulsion had been demonstrated in Germany as early as 1937 by the German engineer Hans von Ohain. Recognizing the potential of this invention, the Reichsluftfahrtsministerium, or Germany's Air Ministry, encouraged Germany's engine manufacturers to begin their own programs of jet engine development, offering contracts to both Junkers and BMW for an engine capable of 1,500 pounds static thrust. Both BMW and Junkers opted to create an axial flow turbojet, which had a smaller cross section. Construction began late in the same year, and the engine ran for the first time in August of 1940, but produced only 330 pounds thrust, just less than half what was desired. The first flight took place in the middle of 1941, mounted on a Messerschmitt BF-110 testbed airframe. Work on the 003 continued anyway, and by late 1942 it had been made far more powerful and reliable. This improved engine was flight tested under a Junkers GU-88 in October of 1943 and was finally ready for mass production in August of 1944. Completed engines earned a reputation for unreliability. The time between major overhauls was about 50 hours. The competing UMO 004s was between 30 and 50, but sometimes it may have been as slow as 10. Through 1944, the 003's reliability improved, making it a suitable power plant for airframe designs competing for the Jaeger Note Program's light fighter production contract. The Jaeger Note Program, or the Emergency Fighter Program, started in late 1944 when the Luftwaffe High Command saw that there was a dire need for a strong defense against Allied bombing raids. Although opposed by important figures such as the Luftwaffe Fighter Force leader General Adolf Galland, the project went ahead owing to the backing of Reichsmarschall Hermann Göring. Most of the designs of the emergency fighter program never proceeded past the project stage. But after a hurried design competition involving almost all German aircraft companies, the Heinkel's Heinkel 162 was selected as the winner of this competition. Further developments of the engine raised trust to 2,000 pounds in the same class as the competing UMO 004B. In reality, only two German production aircraft used the 003 jet engine. The first one was the previously mentioned Heinkel 162, designed to possess ventral mounting points to allow it to be mounted atop the fuselage of an aircraft. The other was the four-engined Arado 
234C reconnaissance bomber variant, which was designed to use what was supposed to be the more available engine, despite its primary allocation for the Henkel 162. With its 12,000 Reismarks price, the BMW 003 proved slightly more costly than the competing UMO 004, which cost only 10,000 Reismarks. Only about 500 examples of the BMW 003 were built, but the post-war estimated total German jet engine production by mid-1946 could have reached 100,000 units per year, or even more. It is interesting to note that the BMW 003 was also intended for export to Japan, but working examples of the engine were never supplied. Instead, Japanese engineers used drawings and photos of the 003 engine to design an indigenous turbojet, the Ishikawa Jima NE20. Only a small number of these jet engines, approximately 50, were produced before the end of the war, and few of them survived. But Two of these jet engines were used to power the Nakajima Kikka, Japan's first and only jet fighter, on its first and only flight on the 7th of August 1945. It was also planned to use the engine to power a version of the Oka Kamikaze weapon, but this was not implemented before the end of the war. Following the war, two captured 003s powered the prototype of the first Soviet jet fighter, the Mikoyan Guryevich MiG-9. Blueprints for the BMW engines had been seized by Soviet forces from the notorious Mittelwerk facility near Nordhausen. Mittelwerk, or Central Works, was a German World War II factory built underground to avoid Allied bombing. It used safe labor from Mittelbaudora concentration camp to produce the V-2 ballistic missiles, V-1 flying bombs and other weapons such as the Heinkel 162 jet fighter. Production of the 003 was set up at the Gorky automobile plant in Leningrad in the Soviet Union, and the engine was mass-produced from 1947 under the designation RD-20. After the war, the Allied occupation of Germany, the French state-owned aircraft engine company also used the basic design of the BMW 003 to produce the larger Atar jet engine that powered several French jet fighters in the early Cold War years. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.